Hey guys, it's Cass, and welcome back to another episode, I believe this is episode 4 of Hardcore Minecraft, our second season. But this entire episode is completely focused about, as you see, me, I was gonna say raising up, upgrading, maxing out my villagers. The majority of this video is me grinding, figuring out who buys what, going out and grinding the items, like the OP, um, what do you call it? The OP, I guess, upgrades that you can buy or sell to the cartographers. You just get a bunch of glass or um, sand, smelt it down, make glass, then make window panes. And I end up pretty much upgrading every single villager in here besides the fishermen in this one. Um, I still need to upgrade the fishermen, but I did make a spider spawner, which you'll see in this video as well, too. On top of that, I do end up getting more enchants, grinding for the levels, which isn't that difficult because, again, I'm getting levels back from all the villagers. You can see I'm throwing bread at them <laughs> to get them to breed. Because I'm putting down tables, and even though I have that many villagers villagers already, um, some of them aren't taking jobs, so I feel like I don't have enough. Um, but you see me just dumping all of this stuff that I've got from them in these two devil chests, which I end up filling up. I think at the end of this, I end up filling like four double chests of just all their trades to fully max them out. Um... But it's just a lot of chaotic of me running back and forth. I accidentally punched that sheep <laughs> trying to get this uh, librarian out of there. Um, but yeah, just I push him off. He gets hurt, but then he comes right back around to come back up to that corner. I was going to push him off again, but I blocked that off. Um, but just upgrading them to maxed for one which I guess in the long run I don't really know why I needed to do this or why I felt so compelled to do this because all of the armor and everything that I make myself with my own diamonds and enchant on my own is far superior than really anything else that I get from any of them but I guess um I would consider it nice that I can just go buy golden carrots and I don't have to have the gold and I don't have to harvest the carrots, which I'm selling right here so that harvesting them is not the problem. But I do end up going in here. Just I even enchant a ton of books. I end up getting mending on everything in this video a little later. But I think I get some great enchants like on that first pickaxe, the silk touch and just upgrading them. I do get... I think at this stage, at the end of this video, I have two stacks of the eyes. Um, and I think this is my third and the last uh, wandering trader that I've seen. I'm almost on day 300. and Not in this video. In this video, this is all before day 200. And at this video coming up to, which I'll talk or I'll mention during that point... Um, that I actually did it during the live stream, but I end up killing <laughs> the llamas. I think the stick trade with the Fletchers is also OP, but um, I do end up making a tree farm a little later because then I can just keep chopping them down. <laughs> and they're, they're fully upgraded. They were probably the easiest to upgrade along with all the farmers, but I make like, I do end up making a smoker here in a second. Um, right there and just trying to get more people to take more jobs. 
and my butcher fully upgraded will um, buy sweet berries for emeralds, which I think is also super OP because those are super easy to get a ton of. Um, and I do end up going strip mining again, which you can kind of see just the mess of a maze. I do end up finding a little bit more diamond here in a minute. Um, and I think out of all the villagers that I fully upgraded, as far as like weaponsmiths and toolsmiths go, the only thing I kept was, I believe, I don't know if I kept one of the shovels and I think I unenchanted it, which I think I already showed in here. Um, but I do keep a diamond hoe that I do end up getting later. But I'm mining and getting into diamonds. I really feel like I should go diamond mining again now that I have fortune three. And here's those diamonds. I honestly should have left these there, but you know, hindsight's 2020, right? I'll have to go mining for diamonds now that I have fortune three, just to see how much more I can get. I guess I don't really know why I need them. I have fully enchanted diamond gear. Um, and then anything that I feel like I would need to replace as far as gear goes, I can get from the villagers. But in this video too, I, I do a lot of mining. Um, because I can sell coal to, I think, three or four of the different villagers. I do go out, um, apart from all these stick trades that you see me doing just continuously. Um, they're one of the easiest ones, I think, to upgrade these guys. But again, the bow I have that I've already enchanted isn't better. The one that he's selling me is not even in comparison with anything else, and I feel like the shepherds have been the most difficult to upgrade along with the fishermen because I just don't have enough of the string. But like I said, I did find a um, spider spawner and I do convert it way further at the end of this video. But this is where you just see me go mining and then I do end up going back out to get even more coal um, after I do get fortune three on a second pickaxe because I have a silk touch pickaxe and a fortune three pickaxe. And I noticed such a big difference that the Fortune 3 makes. Oh no, see, I made the shovel. So then I only end up keeping the diamond hoe that they give me. But I didn't want Silk Touch. I got Silk Touch on the shovel. I do end up unenchanting it, but I got Fortune 2 there. But I also have a Fortune 2 book there. So I upgraded it to Fortune 3. And I think I'm taking like lack of the sea and other ones that I have to just throw on, but I unenchant the shovel there because I don't want just silk touch on that. I'm breaking three efficiency four, so heck yeah, I'll take that. And then I'm looking just through like the depth strider I do end up adding to my boots. I do end up buying a bunch more mending books. That way I can put it on everything. So I have mending by the end of this episode. I have mending on all of my ar um, armor, but also all of my tools as well. But just using up my levels quick as adding um, Luck of the Sea. Add the fortune 2 pick with the fortune 2 books that gave me and then I think I added mending there I'm adding mending there on these um, I had sweeping edge on there I add mending and then I add depth strider and that that was going to go add feather falling four there but I didn't have enough levels, so this is where I'm back out with my Fortune 3 pick, getting all of this, because for one, it's easy levels mining coal, but also then I can turn around and sell 
the villagers the coal as well. And I take all this gravel for flint purposes because I can sell the flint to the Fletchers as well. There's my feather falling four on my boots now. I'm trying to figure out who I can sell coal to. But yeah, just lots and lots and lots of running back and repeating the process. And here I was um, building up with the, as I was say, building up the flint, building up with the gravel, busting it down to get flint. But I thought this was a great view of kind of my overhead area a little bit. But just selling those sticks. That and the glass panes are my favorite way and easiest way to get great and I named that silky for silk touch so I remember the difference I haven't named no I do end up naming the fortune pickaxe fortunate one in here but I haven't named anything else yet and excuse this clip I have uh, silk touch on my axe so I had to mine it with some other tool so sorry for the triggering mining of bookshelves with my pickaxe but I just wanted it to break down to the books because then I can turn around and sell the books to one of the villagers but I can also like right there I sold those but then also I just turn around and enchant the books anyway and I do end up buying glass from him turning it into glass panes later and then selling that to, to the cartographer. And I do buy an ocean explorer's map and a woodland explorer's map there. So I'll be able to find both of those as well. I do have those hidden in a chest and I guess I did have another wandering trader. Just kidding. His llamas went and I took the leads and I work on upgrading him. I didn't take the crossbow this is all pre um the stream and i do kill him but shh. nobody has to know that it's just between us another easy way i think the pumpkins and the melons give you the most xp out of trading with the farmers but they were all mastered pretty quickly on in this and then there's my beehive. I still gotta finish working on expanding it and putting leaves. But I just keep going back and enchanting more and more books. And I knew I needed the respiration for my helmet. Take efficiency two there. This is where I put respiration on there. An aqua affinity. I did get an aqua affinity book, so my helmet's pretty good. And just trying to upgrade him the kelp blocks which is awesome because i just have to go to the ocean away and dry kelp and then i can sell those to him too but also i'm planning for that to be my fuel source just because coal goes so quickly i think i was adding mending here to everything else and then these glass panes oh, this was so nice going to trade these i was trying to find him but there he is oh this is so nice i wish i could just do it and i'm mad at these guys because they keep trying to breed at this point i buy like 12 mending books through this section but i was upset with them for trying to breed because i don't need any more i have more than enough people at all the stations i add mending on these two final pieces and i believe that officially has me with mending on everything but I put mending and then eventually unbreaking on my shield as well. Right there. So I got mending and unbreaking three. Showing you guys all my enchants so far. I feel like my gear is pretty good though. 
And this is where I find the spider spawner. I was just going around for coal, mining all that out. Um, but I do end up converting this. And on my sword, currently in this clip, I don't have looting three. But after the stream, I get it. And then this is everything. This little section was the live stream's up and I'll I card to it here. But my goal in the live stream was to get a full inventory of emeralds so then I can go around and just buy a bunch of stuff and upgrade. So that is on my channel. Um, thank you to everyone who showed up and hung out with me and was supportive during that. Um, but I end up, I feel like not completing it. So this is still during the live stream, but I think I only get... 20 stacks um, during the live stream and then I complete almost the rest of it but here I'm explaining I've made these stairs up here I'm going to make a B down in that so that'll be the next episode but I'm thinking of doing a castle here and spreading across just like kind of daydreaming about what I could turn these hills into like doing a castle watchtower right here going down and like looking over everything But this was at the end of the stream, and then this is everything after the stream. So I'm just silk touching for one, like redoing all of this area, because um, I've been working on terraforming that since I decided to build here. But then I can also turn around and sell the stone to um, the masons, which they're super easy to upgrade. And like I said, I'm still working on trying to get the full inventory um, of emeralds before I go buying everything from anyone. <laughs> but yeah, here's the tree farm that I was talking about. I think I planted down like a stack and a half of trees in a line. And then I just go back through and cut them all down, turn them into planks, turn the planks into sticks, and then go get tons and tons of emeralds from selling my stick trades to everyone. <laughs> I'm throwing stuff everywhere. I end up going back and forth, dumping off the emeralds and other chests to try to give myself more room to hold more sticks. But this live stream is really fun. I was short of my gold during the live stream. This is all post live stream right here, but um, I had a lot of fun. So I'm looking forward to Monday's live stream and what that will look like. I don't know exactly what we're doing for that yet. Probably some other form of grinding because that's just the reality of playing. I know that these videos are sped up and I know that I don't include I think this 30 minute video in reality is summed up of about six or seven hours of recorded game time. Um, so I do edit it down a lot. Half the reason why it's sped up as well. Yeah, the sticks, <laughs> they just kind of explode. I sleep. And back to the grind. But... <laughs> the sticks just take over. <laughs> I'm just trying to dump them everywhere and turn more things to sticks. And more sticks, and then I'm out of room. And <laughs> just repeat and repeat and sell things to them and... I'm gonna hit up these guys to sell more. I mean, he's already a master, but at this stage, it was get as many emeralds as I could. And I just kept going back and forth with the sticks, <laughs> selling them. Back and forth, like he reopened his trade, I guess is how you would say that. Came back for the sticks, and then I put this guy's table down here just to get another one so I could get more sticks going and mastered him out right away. I think this is where I run back to grab all the emeralds 
I couldn't remember where they were, but they're all down here in this chest. And then I organize everything. But here I sell the last few. Run around and sell the last bits of everything that I think I can. Because it's taken so much time just to get all these emeralds. And I'm like, what else can I sell? Okay, let's go grab, you know, the pumpkins and melons. These things grow out of control. Truly. And that was mentioned a few times during the live stream. I'm just like, holy smokes. But like, I could be over there every two minutes just gathering and gathering. And I love silk touch on my axe because then I don't have to mess with the... Um, remess with making the melons and with the melon slices but this is I, oh just kidding I went through and farmed again to get even more and then I do put on the screen here like if you don't want to watch how I end up trading all of these you can skip to 2655 which is true because this is where I organize them all this is how much I end up with and now I'm off to just go spend things go spend money and buy things to upgrade so I'm just gonna let that play out um, but yeah even after spending everything t literally every villager is a master in here except for the fishermen I have two I think two fishermen that in the end are not fully upgraded yet but I can do that with the string and then spend some of the other emeralds I have. Um, I think I just, I don't even know what I bought. But my masons do sell quartz pillars and I think quartz blocks or something. So that's awesome. That might be something I use. But I dumped those emeralds in there just because I'm like, I need more inventory space <laughs> to go buy this stuff. Checking out who's what and where and upgrading. I upgrade this guy with as much as I can. Like, yes, a couple name tags. Awesome. I'm just dumping stuff everywhere and then running back to those double chests. And I fill them up here, I think, on this one. And switching out the emeralds and dumping things. <laughs> It was nice just to have that many emeralds just trying to upgrade people. He's upgraded and I'm like, okay, who else? Your master. Okay, awesome. I can grab some more things from you. And honestly, just repeating the process over and over. Dumping stuff. I have so many diamond axes. <laughs> And I don't even know what the enchant is on them, but I'm like, new day, let's get it done. I can buy the compasses from one of the librarians and turn around and sell them all to the cartographer. So that's something, same with glass. I can buy the glass. I bought a ton of beds just in case I plan on expanding. You know, I'm considering it. I'm not against expanding and having 50 more villagers. I'd be fine with that. <laughs> But I can buy both the compasses and the glass from librarians, turn the glass into glass panes, and then sell that and the compasses to the cartographer. So I like when someone sells something that I can turn around. I can buy bookshelves from a librarian, break them apart, and then resell the books to another librarian. Like I like those that I can buy from someone to sell to someone else. It's just super easy. In no way for him would I ever sell diamonds <laughs> for emeralds. I can't envision a time that would ever happen. But I'm out of space in those two double chests, and this is where I run over here. I mean, I've kind of been running over here already. So a storage solution, I think being dug into that mountain is going to be coming in an episode, or maybe that's something I will lurk, lurk on, work on in the live stream. Um, but these guys were difficult to upgrade. Those bells, I have so many now, they're so expensive, but I buy the diamond hose from him and I end up going and enchanting one of those. I don't know if I do it here, I think I do it in this video. 
I don't know why I keep coming back to those double chests. Like, I know they're full. I put that diamond hoe in my farming kind of area because I come back to enchant that later. <laughs> yeah, just the back and forth, kind of how it was to get the emeralds. Now I'm buying whatever and everything I can to just upgrade everything. And I already have sharpness on a sword, so I don't even need that to combine them. <laughs> and since it's hardcore, if I die, I... It's not like I'd come back to buy gear anyway. If I die, I'm dead. Here's where I buy the explorer map, um, woodland explorer map, and the ocean explorer map. So I have those to do, so those could become adventures. But yeah, I'm buying the glass right there. I'm buying the compasses right there. I mean, upgrading him to name tags. He's upgraded to name tags. So is he, and so on. And then, like I said, I turn the glass blocks into glass panes, sell them to this guy. <laughs> so I like those guys together. There's the glass panes. I'm like, hey, coming back, selling those. So even though I'm supposed to be spending all the emeralds, I'm still making more. And then I like coming in here. I'm glad I did this. I'm coming in here to completely level him up with redstone and then lapis. And then glowstone, <laughs> and then eyes, and then bottles of enchanting, and he's a master now. And I buy kind of from that guy too, and he's the same thing. I buy him out of all of that, and so he's a master now as well. So yeah, like I said, everybody... I do buy paintings from him, so I have a ton of paintings now that I'll plan to reuse or put everywhere. Um, when I do end up redoing the village and making them nicer houses and kind of making it just look nicer, I'm planning to use those paintings all over the place. Um, but yeah, clearly I need a sorting system situation because this it gets a little bit of a mess. after even more mending books because like why not <laughs> I have the emeralds I have the books why not I'll just buy all the mending oh I put it on my fishing rod there my helmet I thought I had I don't know what I'm adding there to be honest just I think double checking that I have mending on everything yeah I call this one the fortunate one so remember that it's fortune and I know I put an anvil in here. And I know that I have to... Yeah, I add things to the hoe. So it's efficiency four, I think is what it was. Now it's mending. Trying to figure out what other enchants I can add to things. I didn't realize you couldn't add mending to a bow, I guess. I don't know if it's because of something else I have on there. But just running through the books that I have and figuring out what else I can add to what other things. I can add on breaking three on my diamond hoe. I think luck of the sea I end up adding, yeah, to the fishing rod. I don't have enough for it. And then this is when I go back to the spider spawner and I actually get it set up completely. And like I said, not in this video, but I do end up getting looting three on a sword that I combine with my sword. And so I need to come back here. I, I don't want to AFK. I don't think I've ever said that on here before, but that's not how I want to spend my time in the game. I don't want to AFK at all. So just come back here with the looting three. yeah I need to come back with my looting three get all the string to upgrade my fisherman and I think that's all I have to upgrade unless I want to end up I don't know getting more villagers I don't know what else I need <laughs> maybe more librarians just for more enchants readily available I guess um but yeah, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the live stream on Monday and then again another video from the hardcore series on Friday. 
and the hardcore on Friday will be the bee house. So thanks for watching guys. I'm cutting into the end. Bye! <laughs>